Oh, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts with me, Oxfu. Just watching some TV since I, I have the have the uh, living room. I don't. I'm not sure if you'd call it a living room in a camp, but I have the rec room all to myself. So I figured I'd get I'd watch that kung fu action movie I've been wanting to watch all all weekend. I mean, if that's not your thing, we got sci-fi. We got we got westerns. We got all you want. <laughs> I do just love a lot of the things that they have in all of this game, like all the pictures. Like, look at this over here. Careful of alligators taking your brains. Uh, are there any other good ones in here? Can't really make out those ones on the back wall. Well, I think we nailed it. Want to lay out for the day? Sure. Like there's if just. You think it's ready to play in front of people? But like, uh, kitty, for example? Okay, one more time. Just waiting for them to finish. Like, there's just a lot of things you can interact with. Like, I can set this fire on fire. <laughs> this fireplace on fire. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have to ask now, because this is the... Don't worry, we're getting away from people, so... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just going on, like... I really do like a lot of the extra things that they put in here. Like, I will show you in just a second. This might be a long episode, by the way. Just warning you. Like, for instance, you can come back here to the very beginning of the game. And remember what the game started with? A little speech? The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it is. It is the ultimate battlefield. The wars of this modern age. Second, are all fought somewhere between these damn. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. Those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents, psychonauts. Anyway, I'm not going to continue the rest of the speech because we all know it, but we set this one on fire? Yeah, there we go. I believe we can we set all these totems on fire as well? Nope, but what I did want to show you is just like, look at these are all Cassiopeia. I'm guessing these are all either distinguished psychonauts or people who have worked at the camp before. Compton Bool. Uh, Bob Zanato. I just like that the lore of Psychonauts is being brought into the game right now because Zanato is the leader of the Psychonauts. Otto Mentalis. Oh, a little far there. Lucretia Mux. If you look at this next one, it's Ford Cruller! And Helmet Fulbear. But I'm guessing his name was taken off because he's not an official psychonaut anymore. But anyway, like I said, I just like that the lore is being brought into the game through background items. But anyway, before we go out and save the world from Oleander and Dr. Lobato, I have one more thing that I want to show off. I never noticed that there was a handicapped place. Huh, just figured I'd look. Can we see from here as well? No, we can't. But you can come up here to uh, the log. It was the centerpiece of the parking lot, and... Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. 500 years ago, enormous titanium-bearing meteorite strikes the Earth, leaving a giant crater. 200 years ago, native inhabitants begin making arrowheads out of the titanium, which they call by the name Whispering Rock. 100 years ago, prospectors and settlers take over the area, naming their boomtown Shaky Claim. 99 years ago, first case of paranormal hysteria diagnosed in Shaky Claim. 75 years ago, Houston Thorny builds his home for the demented to deal with the insanity epidemic. And we'll get to hear the history of Whispering Rock, and maybe, Maybe there'll be a secret. 
But I'm not going to talk about that because we've got things to do. We've got places to go. See you in hell. <laughs> and squirrels to crush. Ah. Oh, got to get this mountain lion before he gets us. Man, this is such a good power up for the levitation ball. All right, now we can get our squirrel. Oh man. Oh well. Anyway, we are off back to Ford Crullers. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Cruller? Ford Crullers uh, Sanctuary, that's what it's Ford's, called. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Because we gotta go back to the Insane Asylum. Because we have a Mr. Pokeylope to save, a Shigor to help out, and a... Oh, what's his name? And a few people Agent to Crawler? teach a lesson. What is the current situation? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Hopefully this puts us back. It's been a while. I've been going around collecting things because I do plan on eventually getting the 101 rank at the end. Just be like, ah, oh, look, I did finish the game. But... do that in a second. First, I am going to save because I want to make sure that I get this right. Uh, okay, this should be it. Yes. Alright, so, you remember that when we were up here before, we couldn't go into the, the force field around Dr. Lobato or otherwise he'd catch us and be like, ah, what are you doing around here? But, there is actually a way you can jump up. Oh, no, oh, 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 careful. There's a way you can jump up, go right in here, and go inside the force field. And you can just walk around a little bit, get in his way, and you can even, you can even, let me see if I can get it right. You can even pick up the brain, throw it around, and if you're lucky, I got this before. Oh, oh. You can, if you're lucky, you can actually throw it out. <laughs> of course, when he goes to use it, it'll glitch back, but... <laughs> Why, it's a nice little precious juicy brain wrapped up in some sort of boy-shaped goggly gook. Soon have all that excess tissue removed, and then we can slip that brain into something more comfortable. Shigar! We already that saw these cutscenes, though. Leander mentioned has arrived. Please take it up to the holding area to So we're gonna skip all that. We saw that last episode, so now we are gonna help Miss Shigor. Do we have the cake? Yes, we're gonna miss help Miss Shigor with a birthday cake. Well, the birthday cake's for po Mr. Pokilo, not for, not for Shigor, but we'll just throw that right in. There we go. Come on, Mr. Pokilo, just get right over there and ha! There we go. Perfect. Come on, Mr. Pokilo, come and get your cake. Now, easy thing to do will be go right back and give it to Shigor. However, we're not going to be doing that right away. We can actually bring uh -huh. Mr. Pokelope back with us, and... I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare Sh for extraction. And show him off to all our friends back at the camp. I'm only going to be showing off a few choice ones, just because... Well, if we went through all the people in the camp, it would be a bit ridiculous, but... I don't quite remember what all their reactions are, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick and choose after the fact. Can't remember. Can we show you Ford Cruller? I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokilo. And I'm glad to see you made some new friends. After all, your old ones got the brain sucked out. Yeah, me too. Although I we put their brains back, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> You know, disposable friends. Alright, let's go... Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? 
Uh, kids, Take cabins. Me to the kids' cabins area. With pleasure. Trying to remember who's where. All right, so we got Dogen. Hmm. He seems like he'd have something interesting to say. And so I'm really sorry for not believing you. Right. Yeah. That too. I should really not have blown so many of you up. I just get so confused sometimes. Ah, oh, they made friends. Can you make friends with this guy? I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Hi. I like your hat. Oh, that's it. Wow. I never thought you two would get back together. I know. Isn't it just too romantic? I just hope James won't be too crushed. Shh. You promised. No talking. <laughs> All right. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Oh, Mr. Pokelo. I wish I had a hard shell like yours around my heart. Eh, I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Mister, don't you have any female friends you could introduce me to? <gasps> Pig. <laughs> well, that was worth it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. Oh, man. Gotta work a little turtle with a crown into the story somehow. Hmm. Maybe he can be my little wisecracking sidekick. <laughs> Forgot about that one. No, I can't mess around with Mr. Pokelope. Aww. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. Mm. Hi. Mm. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. Mm. Hi. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, you two. Well, Bobby, what do you have to say? I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Turtles are stupid! <laughs> That's it, okay. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. You know, turtles are just visitors from another galaxy who never left. Their shells are actually atmospheric re-entry heat shields. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Yeah, I, did, I, 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 I knew that. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? So that now that we've shown Mr. Pokelope around the place, let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. We can bring yes, him back to Shigor and make everything right in the world. I wonder if we can show him to Lily before we give her. We give him to her. That'd be cool. I'm gonna try it. I don't think I ever have. Mr. Ford Cruller. What is the current situation? We're ready to go back into the field. I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay. Let's see if I remember exactly where you were. I hope so. I don't want to go all through all that all that uh, rigmarole just to get back there. Uh, don't remember whether we're going to be caught by Dr. Loboto again. I don't think so. Okay, we're good. There we go. Well, Mr. Pokelope, are you ready? Because I'm waiting to hear what you're gonna... I'm waiting to hear your ideas of what we have to do. I'm ready to hear Mr. Pokelope's plan. That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Now here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Mr. Pokelope is my favorite character just because of that. <laughs> That's what you always say, Shigor. No, this one is really special. It's a fighter. No, oh, just leave it there. And I'll get to it right after I'm done with this experiment. Okay. Don't worry, baby. 
Just make sure I get put in that old tank, and Daddy will take care of business. <laughs> I can't watch. It's so ridiculous. All right, so. <laughs> oh. All right, I wasn't sure if we could pick up Mr. Pogulo, but looks like it's not going to let us target it, target him. All right, so we got to throw Mr. Pokilo into the tank. <laughs> Excellent. There it is. Good work, Shigor. Now all we have to do is get it in the brain tank somehow. If we could just get my beautiful care for there now. Easy enough. There we go. It's time to make the suit. <laughs> See ya, Dr. Laboto. Well, that was easy. Nice and easy. Recranialization of an adult brain without surgery. That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But Shigor here knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know, I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? <laughs> well, if you can lead us to them. Ah, don't we can worry. Bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem. We've already helped them all. Immediately after we break young Miss Zanato here out of her restraints. Miss Zanato. Hmm. Raz, come on, we need your help. All right, all right, come on. Okay, okay. Ready? All together now. Oops, I've got my, <laughs> I've got the side blast bound wrong. There we go. Ow. There we go. Like they said, autosave, point of no return. So that's why I did all that Finally! jazz first. That thing gave me a cowlick. Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psy cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is <laughs> one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door. <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. <laughs> home I had to clean up after the elephants so trust me I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of <laughs> kids let the grown ups handle this let the grown ups handle this Tall people that's how it always goes wrong Well, it's official. Okay, ready? The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. <laughs> I know what's coming. That's what makes us great. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. <laughs> oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. <laughs> Oh no, I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. <laughs> this is the best build up. And guess who finally got the courage to throw a bottle? Hey, boy! Long time no see! Oh, Mr. Orderly! <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax, the asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, maybe.
Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? <laughs> has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> and the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Oh boy. Surrender never. The psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. You got a word for that? Yeah. Gazoon tight. Huh? Ah! 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 I like that it's all just built up to make the earth shake as they kiss. <laughs> oh good. You're okay. I thought that was the end. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, oh, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like Oleander isn't friend? the mastermind he Paul once probably was. Probably stuck in one of his plans <laughs> to take over the world somewhere. Don't mind him. <laughs> well, that was a good adventure, guys. Let's go home. Huh? <laughs> Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. <laughs> yeah, but only one can win. <laughs> oh my god, this is the first time I noticed that he just flipped him off. The British way. Alright, so looks like we've got one more fight. So... You know what? I'm not gonna call it an episode. Let's just get rid of this right now. Huh. How are we gonna do this? Maybe... Ah, I've got an idea. Telekinesis. There's plenty of stuff lying around, so... Let's just crush it all. Oh, you know what I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need... Shield. Just in case. Alright, so let's take care of this jerk once and for all. I mean, he's only a brain now. What else can he do after we beat him? 
It's a pretty simple fight as you can see, use the rocks that are littered around in order to break the ones he's putting up as a shield, get in there, use pyrokinesis to burn down the boards, and then toss another rock at the glass. Ah, good, we're doing some damage. There's a bit of a crack in his shield. Alright, Raz, you got this. No problem. Oh! Maybe a little bit of a problem. <laughs> problem is... That he keeps rebuilding. Unfortunately, you gotta be really quick sometimes. Oh, jeez! What's with that? Come on. Oh, Can't get a good no, grip. no, no. Get that one. There we go. Got it. One more hit and we should be good. Huh. Well, this is a good boss fight. Making us use everything we know. It's a, it feels a little bit easy, though. Mm. Feels a little... A little too easy. Well... I'm sure that's that, that's nothing. I'm sure it's just, you know, they figured we'd been fighting Oleander this long. We should have a nice, easy fight on our hands for once. All right, there we go. Perfect. So now we just pluck out the pluck out the brain, go home, put him in psychic jail. That's it, right? Of course, it's never that easy. Try not to sneeze. Have to hold it <laughs> in. <laughs> uh. TV. TV. Even you, Raz. Even you can't win. Oh, this is just great. Now, what am I going to do? have to think <laughs> like I got a choice <laughs> hmm well you can use shield actually I wonder what else we can use we, <laughs> we can use invisibility oh that that's kind of ridiculous why well the only thing I can think of is I don't see our body around but there's a body Let's see what happens next time on Let's Play Psychonauts with Mio X Fu. Ha <laughs> ha, cliffhanger!